All right, guys, took our first trade of the morning here, starting 4.23 a.m. at 11.11. Um, so we got a nice algo disruption here down near 21275.66. So we do have a gap and opportunity to fall. Uh, we need to stay under 100 EMA. As you notice right here, that 100 EMA is clicked down. We are pointing down. We are trending beautiful lower highs and lower lows in sequence. Every time we're getting a little lower low, we're getting a beautiful pop back on trend. So everything is doing pretty good for a base break. So we're looking to get under the volume weighted average price, of course. So if you look at our big chart system here, the volume weighted average price coming in at 21,289.30, uh, which is fine. We just got to stay under the 100 EMA in the green. So we come in um, off trend and obviously we fail to hold the 100 EMA in the green. Stays under, creates higher high. That's beautiful stop out point from the algos, lower low. That's the decision. So you can fib those out and put them to the downside as the bearish metric will identify from here. We stay under VWAP 21,289, and that's going to be a continuation to algo target 21,275.15. Now, um, that comes in again, just like our last trade on Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me near extension band zone. So our custom Keltners here, um, a lot of the time when we get close or impulse outside of it, we always have to return. So again, our custom code is saying that we have all lower highs and lower lows into a lower low actually of this even. And that'll get us down to 21275 and change, probably a little bit more. But right now that target is from the bands. So you'll watch this play out. Um, we are getting into that lower channel, the RSI, MACD is looking great. Uh, for the short side, the volatility index to, uh, of course, add some more conviction to the short play out here for the 50 points on NQ is we do have a nice gap up and we are into negative territory of the deviation. So we talked about this on chat last week as well where we said that if we get into that deviation, this is a bounce point, right? So the daily chart into minus one weekly, minus one daily um, is a bounce point usually for VIX. So we had the monster gap down, right? A couple days of red, looped, fresh low on 11.8. And now we do have a positive territory for VIX to bounce into from the deviations, also setting us up for a heavier volatility. So everything is set for the short and we're gonna watch her play out here. I'll come back to the record. Should be right around 900 to 1,000 for the win here. We got an ES there as well, um, just for a small scalp. But regardless, NQ is the big trade. And we'll turn the record back on and show you guys the fill. All right, guys, as we said, we come back into the recording here as we'll do a fill. A good, clean, one and done as expected. Entry point here, 2-1. To nine and a quarter. Went backwards about 300 red, but again, confirmation is all about the 100 EMA. We are coming down into target range. We got a little bit left. We get a good extension. ES has not really caught up quite yet. Um, do have that fill point down there. So this is a good time to take profit, and we are very close to target. So we're going to let this one work out a little bit more, but right now we knocked out pretty much all the 15, 16 points here. It's going to get a little static here. The Elgos like to shy away from the minute gap targets, right? So it's going to have this big dump. Shorts will have the chase. And then they got to cut the, the double bottom chasers out here. Order filled. Up and then slam down. So, okay, there's the reverse on price action. And, of course, we got just a smidge left here on the Q's fill. Oh, missed it by a tick there, so. Uh, we could just exit that one um, at any point in time if we want to here. Order filled. And then on this side of things, on the ES, we do have 60, uh, 40. And this one is just a little follower trade because NQ is the leader. We came within one tick of the trade. We always want to get out a little early just in case we get a tail wick that reverses because we are in a hefty move to the downside. So we don't want to wait for that whole reset nonsense, uh, risking any profits because, again... That entry up here was about minus 300 and change for the 100 EMA. We don't want to go any reversing 3 to 1 on the 30% rule, so we did come back down, made just under 800 as expected. And um, now we're perfectly in the clear for percentages. Now we're just going to watch the ES trade uh, come down, and uh, NQ's all done. So that's the one and done trade. We'll probably shut her down after the ES fill. And on to the next day. All right, guys, and just to recap the last part of the trade, um, we did exit right here. Like we said, nothing goes in a straight line in the stock market. So if you have a really big target that we picked right here, 
274.50 for the short, and you see me Order close filled. that earlier. There's the ES fill, as we expected. Um, and we will get this fill as well. But just to, just to stay in great practice for profit take, we always get out a little early. We've seen this coming, Order filled. but we don't like to reshort um, lowers at all. So obviously on this trend, our target initial, which was the hit of 2127450 hit, uh, ES hit, Everything is um, good to go. So we're locked in on the day. All targets, one and done. No back and forth. Nice and clean. We'll see you on the next.